You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Hey everybody and welcome to Forgiveness Friday. We're going to talk about a fun one today, one that we like talking about, one that we hear rumors about, one that most of us, I would say probably all of us, struggle with, and that is gossip. Telling bad stuff, or maybe not even bad stuff, but at least not meaning well when we tell a story to someone else. Now remember, gossip kind of comes from that Eighth Commandment. You shall not bear false testimony against your neighbor. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not tell lies about our neighbor, betray him, slander him, or hurt his reputation, but defend him, speak well of him, and explain ev well the new way, right? Explain everything in the kindest way. But I like the older way better. Put the best construction on them. Because that has the active thing. That's us doing something for our neighbor. We don't just explain it in the kindest way, meaning we leave out some of the bad details, but putting the best construction is you're literally putting the best construction, the righteousness of Christ, on your neighbor. But we don't do this. It's good. It feels good when you're included in that rumor chain, when you're part of the gossipy conversation, or even better, when you're the one giving out the news. Don't you love it when you, you call your friend up and you say, have you heard? And they said, no, Ooh, buckle up. I got news for you. I got the scoop. And it's really good. And we talk about it. We talk about our, our friends. We talk about our neighbor. We talk about our pastors. We talk about our fellow parishioners. We talk about everybody. I mean, we gossip about everybody. We even gossip about our government. We gossip about uh, people we don't even know. And when you go to the grocery store and on the way out you see all the magazines, it's not best construction today. It's Gossip USA. And that's what it all is. Taking the shortcomings and the weaknesses, the failures and mistakes of our neighbor, and just reveling in it. And we all do this. We don't tell the truth. Instead, we whisper and deceive with lies. We gossip in secret because that's what we do, right? We don't gossip by shouting it on the rooftops. We gossip in secret. We tell stories behind closed doors. We look over both of our shoulders to make sure no one else is there to hear what we're about to say. Because how do we feel when we're discovered? When that person we're gossiping about happens to walk in the door and they overheard what we were saying, right? You, you get real quiet all of a sudden and you wonder, what did they hear? Did they hear everything we said? When you gossip and you see that person the next day, you wonder, oh no, did someone tell them what I said about them? You get that pit in your stomach, your mouth goes dry, you get worried and anxious all the time, and it, it literally ruins your relationship with that person because you're always scared, are they going to find out what I said about them? Even though it may have been 100% accurate, completely true, we didn't tell it with good intent. We were deceptive, destructive, and we've all done this. Now, the question is, is this gossip is our deceptive tongue forgiven and of course the answer is the uh, it's the answer you're going to get every friday is yes it is but but how you know we always have real like i just gave you real specific law but what's that specific gospel what, what does jesus do for me that i may be forgiven how can i be assured that even though i've destroyed jesus does forgive me and love me well remember jesus Carrying his cross to Golgotha. Remember Paul Gerhardt's hymn, A lamb goes on complaining forth, the guilt of sinners bearing and laden with the sins of earth, none else the burden sharing. 
He went to the cross and opened not his mouth. He didn't say bad things. He didn't talk bad about Judas or Peter or Thomas. He didn't sit there and say, you know what, that Barabbas guy had it coming. You should have had him in there instead of me. He didn't say any of that, but instead kept his mouth shut. Like a lamb led to the shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. And the only time he opened his mouth on the cross was not to gossip and ridicule, but to say, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. It is finished. And when Jesus says it is finished, it is a perfect act, meaning it happened once and has perpetual effect now for you. For your lamb that went uncomplaining forth to the cross, who opened not his mouth, now can't close his mouth in heaven. He is at the right hand of the Father, bellowing forth that all the saints and the angels and archangels and all the company of heaven may hear his declaration of you. That he doesn't speak ill of you. He doesn't point out the mistakes. Because guess what? They're gone. Remembered no more. In his wounds, your sin went to die. It's hidden there now. It's obliterated and drowned, done for. And the only thing Jesus can now talk about you is the good stuff. The reality that the best construction is placed on you, his righteousness. That Jesus says to the whole company of heaven and into his Father's ear, This one is mine, forgiven, a child of paradise, beloved, and worthy to be here. Worthy to be called your child, Father, because I have done all the work for them. And I desire them to be saved unto eternity. I have done the work that they may be forgiven. So Jesus doesn't lie. He speaks the truth, the truth of his death and resurrection for you. That he doesn't whisper lies, but shouts out the truth that you are loved eternally. Even though we lie and deceive, Jesus does not. For he is the way and the truth. He is the truth that sets you free. That by his wounds you are healed. So are you forgiven of every reputation you've ruined, every time you've told that lie, every time you've participated in a rumor? Yes. Jesus forgives you. He assumed it all on the cross that you may bear it no more. And now in heaven he shouts out that you are his beloved. And he speaks well of you. So take heart. And may that forgiveness then encourage you to Put that best construction on your neighbor. That when you see them, and it's a blessed life. This is the beautiful part about it. When we tell the truth, we're never embarrassed about it. It frees us. When we speak well of our neighbor, it, it feels good. I know we're Lutherans and we don't like talking about feelings, but it feels good to speak well of each other. That if we know their sin, we cover them up in Jesus, knowing Christ covers us up completely in his righteousness. So take heart. Is the sin of gossip forgiven? Yes, completely. And you are set free from the burden of that gossip unto all eternity. So take heart and may you abide in that joyful absolution all the days of your life. God bless you all. We'll talk to you soon.